this this would be like a a traditional perimeter fit. This would be a modified back as far as the foot being forged back. And then um, go ahead from the side view. Oh, there we go. This would be your more traditional look and the side view. But I mean, there are there, th and this was put. This is putting the breakover point at the very front edge of the toe. The other one looks like my mom when I used to get my uh, feet measured for shoes. She pinch the tip of my shoes and all right will you wiggle your toes so i know where they are in the shoe this this uh i'm pointing at the screen here <laughs> this this one right here it looks like it's hanging way over the shoe like outside mm. the shoe like a flip-flop like your finger your well, toes see, when would i was a kid they just smacked my foot with a hammer that way i couldn't lie to them about it right <laughs> but it looks like your toes are hanging over your flippers there your right, flip-flops right is that good for the horse that's that's acceptable well that was acceptable for the study okay and if you start going down a lot of rabbit trails in certain situations, it is. In certain situations, it is not. Okay. Where else are we going? We're going to. They, when they were looking at the movement patterns, I know Steve Teachman ended up up there at New Bolton, and they said he went through a huge amount of accelerometers, which were they were measuring the movement pattern of the foot, and also looking at impact, but they could actually. You know, measure and put the free the information back in their computer. But from what I understand, the accelerometers were good for like one use, and so it got a little pricey.